Hi Libra, welcome to your monthly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, before we start, as always, I would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. And they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, let's see what your actions and your interactions in the month of May have in store for you. Wow, straight off the bat, your actions and your interactions is the High Priestess. Now, I love this card. It's actually one of my favourites. Um, the High Priestess represents the sign of cancer, and it also represents um, hidden things coming to light. This is all things intuition. This is all things psychic, all things spiritual. The High Priestess is a very, very powerful card um, because it's a very powerful card of intuition, and she represents the aspects of us and uh, the abilities within us that are intangible. You know, Cancer has very, very strong links to the moon, um, as does the High Priestess. She is the embodiment, actually, of the moon. Um, and this card represents the intangible stuff in the world, which is interesting because this falls in your um, actions and your interactions in the world at large. So you've got a water card in the fire sector. And the, what that kind of says to me is, because when you get, when you get, um, when you heat water, you get steam. Steam is actually incredible, incredibly powerful if you can channel it towards something. You know, it can power machinery. Uh, you know, and that in itself kind of says, you know, what kind of power is there. This kind of, to me though suggests that this month you are looking to uncover something. Uh, this, for me, Libra kind of says that this is going to be the month where you are actively seeking to look behind the curtain in whatever, you know, whatever situation that is in your life, you are looking to get in touch with the mysteries. You are looking to see who or what it is that's behind the curtain. And when I say behind the curtain, you know, we all know the story of the Wizard of Oz and behind the curtain was actually a guy controlling it to make it look like it was something else. And, you know, Libra, I kind of feel that this is the month where you will be digging. You will be looking for not necessarily looking for the dirt although for some of you it will be that experience you know you you have obviously heard something or experienced something and you're like now I want to know the truth um, I don't want illusions I don't want lies I don't want people trying to stroke my ego or protect me I just want the truth and that's the other thing about this because the high priestess like I said it because it represents all the intangible stuff on an internal level she always represents hidden things coming to light she represents secrets but not necessarily just the keeping of secrets the outing of secrets when you see the high priestess you can bet your bottom dollar you are about to learn something that you didn't know before so an interesting way to start the month off um, you know, she's a very, very powerful card though, a very powerful experience. Trust your dreams, trust your intuition, really listen to yourself and take time as well to think about um, things. You know, sometimes in your daydreams or your reveries, you tend to work out certain problems um, and sometimes not even problems, sometimes you tend to just connect dots when you let your mind wander. So, very, very interesting. In your money and your materials, you have the four of uh, wands, which is a beautiful card. It represents celebration, it represents, um, so the number four is the number of Saturn, which is organization and structure, crystallization, attainment, achievement of something. The four of wands represents a celebration, so it means that you actually get something, it means that you receive something, it means that you have a reason to celebrate, you have, you know, whether it comes in the form of good news, although we're talking about your money and your materials here, so, this to me kind of talks very much about you, um, the, for some of you it will be the promotion. For others, this is the person that you've just asked to marry you or to be your partner. This is them saying yes. This is you, you know, finally deciding effectively whether it's actually going that step or not. You're tying the knot. You are making a commitment to someone. You know, you are making a commitment to something, um, which is really great. It's interesting because this kind of feels like a message of love to me, even though we're talking about your money and your materials. In terms of your money and your materials, this is to say to you that the month of May is actually giving you cause to celebrate. Um, it almost feels like you're about to discover some kind of 
It's interesting because the sign before had a similar message as well. Some kind of money that you didn't expect, sometimes of materials or resources that you didn't expect. Um, although for them, I saw it as a windfall, for you guys, I kind of feel like it's in your process of looking to uncover things, you come across uh, some kind of money or abundance that you didn't realize you were owed. Um, you know, so for some of you, when you, you know, this could be actually from the sale of a house, you know, you could get the asking price or you could get more for it. Or it may well be if you decide to sell something, a bit of a bidding war takes place and it's like, oh, okay more people are interested than we thought either way money looks re money and materials look really good for you this month um in terms of your health for i'm not a doctor so i can't give you medical advice but i can sometimes pick up on energies around things like this in terms of your health for those of you that have had any chest problems for those of you that have um, had any sort of coughs or anything you're going to start to feel a lessening of that this month you know your lungs will start to expand and you'll be able to really get a, a better hold on that and i say that because your money in your material sector is never just about your money in your finances sometimes it's about your physical body and your health sometimes it's about your home um in terms of home as well this looks like a great month it looks like a lot of happiness and celebration and reasons to celebrate are taking place within your home um, and around your home so that's really exciting you know it looks like a good month for money um, and like i said I, I believe there's going to be something unexpected that makes its way into your life i see those two there as well it's almost like this yeah for some of you this is the person that you've asked to be you know yours and be with you has agreed to do so so you know you're reaching a level of commitment and for others it's like you uncover something that ends up being worth a lot more than you expected in your communications you have the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles represents work going to work doing the work being at work the job that you do the skills that you demonstrate at your job uh, and this is in your communication sector so it's interesting because you've got the opposition here as well with the high priestess there and this is quite a, an interesting mix because the eight of pentacles and the high priestess that to me kind of suggests you know that you you know like i said to you at the beginning you're looking for the truth this month and in terms of your work and the communication that is happening around you, in terms of the communications that you are experiencing at work or with colleagues, if you have felt that there are people being dishonest or disingenuous, this will be the month where what has been said about you, uh, what has been put forward for you will now grace your ears. You will now discover um, exactly what is and who is behind the curtain and more importantly, what um, gears and buttons they are pushing, working or tweaking. Um, also, this kind of suggests here as well, like I said, you know, getting more than you expected, reasons to celebrate. For some of you, this very much, it talks about winning. It talks about that winning that job. It talks about getting that, um, you know, when I say getting that promotion, I don't feel it as a promotion because this feels completely brand new to me. Um, you know, so in, in that respect, when I combine these two cards, your money and your materials and your communications, this kind of says to me that someone at work is will probably be the way that you go about getting your new job it will be you know it might even be in passing that they say to you oh actually do you know there's a position coming up at so and so and you know or whatever or they might even say oh my friends just applied for this and then you think mm, do you know what actually i think i might apply for that because it works for me too um it, for those of you that go for a new job this month you win you you will be successful absolutely and in your heart and your hearth so this is about your um intimate relationships your familial and friendship ties <laughs> you get the eight of wands so interesting because you've got you know it's fairly balanced actually so the eight of wands represents a couple of things so firstly it talks about um, messages coming to you from a distance 
this talks about things coming to you you know whether it's by email whether it's and it's usually from a long distance as well this isn't necessarily somebody close this is somebody you know quite far away from you so it could be emails text messages um, you know for those of you that are single this is you know somebody coming to you and saying oh you know I'd, I'd like to, to talk I'd like maybe to go out for us to get together the logistics of it might be an interesting one because as I said this kind of feels you know when I see this card it's usually things at a distance um, so for those of you that are single uh, news of somebody that you might want to entertain the idea of being with comes from afar this comes via the internet via text messages um you know it used to be letters but not so much anymore it could be though for some of you um yeah also interesting because when you see with the communications there i don't necessarily see this as somebody um at work setting you up I, I kind of almost see it more as this you know somebody from work or a prospective job um, you know or even a job that you you've done in the past actually sort of messaging you and saying oh you know hey how are you doing um, do you fancy going for coffee and it kind of taking off from there so for those of you that are single news of a potential partner comes to you through the wire this month um, it will be somebody that you meet in you know in communication over the internet or you know via those kind of messages as opposed to somebody that's already in your midst um or i mean it could be somebody at work saying you know oh, i've got a friend or something that you know that finds you quite attractive or whatever but it feels more like somebody that you've previously worked with or somebody that you you know that you've known before and you know then you kind of reignite that contact for those of you that are partnered this kind of says to me that you will be looking especially with these two cards here in conjunction it kind of says to me that you're this is about you finding your forever home for those of you that are already coupled for those of you that are already married this is about you finding that place you know what and saying yeah okay i want to settle into this place i think this is you know the, the home now that we will have our kids in and da -da -da -da, grow old and flourish and stuff in um so for a lot of you that are partnered and you know are really sure in that partnership this will be the month where you solidify exactly where it is that you want to live and you will find that place that's really going to um, support and, and have you um, effectively. For familial ties and friendship ties, um, this also suggests learning um, because it, it can represent, you know, when a mentor of sorts shows up. Uh, for those of you that want to incorporate new learning and new skills for the work that you do, this is a really good month to find somebody that supports that. For those of you that want to consult with financial gurus, this is a really good month for that. Um, and then obviously for you know others of you, this is, yeah, it's about you fulfilling some kind of hunch of yours of, you know what, I need to be more spiritual or maybe I need to um, find another dimension to life that carries and supports me in a different way. So yeah, it's quite an interesting month for you guys actually. And finally, your key for the month is... You get the horned one or the devil card actually. So... Um, <laughs> The thing about the devil card is when people see it they usually freak out and i always say to them there are no bad cards there are just challenging experiences um you know when i say like even when i pull a card that's not necessarily good i always say it's not a great card and no it isn't but the experience will always teach you something the thing about the devil card um is actually it's ruled by the sign of capricorn and the sign of capricorn is all to do with accomplishment achievement getting to your goals regardless of what it is that stands in front of you i mean look at goats we've all seen pictures of them like up mountains and sides of things even in trees and you just look at me you think how on earth are you doing that that's capricorn energy you know it's about uh, really pushing for something that you want and need it's about really achieving your goal and having a single mind towards what it is that you want to get to the other part of this is it represents what you chain yourself to unconsciously or rather consciously that ends up running away with itself so when i see the devil card the only thing that i will say here especially with the high priestess there this is not a month for you to be suspicious 
um, and which is interesting because I've already said to you, you know, you're going to be digging for the truth, um, which is great, and I think you should do that because this month you will uncover it. But if you, if you, you know, you're looking for something and you get to the curtain and you look behind it and there is nothing there, don't invent something. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's what I'm saying. If you have the experience, then then great. And whatever comes to light will come to light this month. It absolutely will. You will achieve that goal is kind of what it's saying to me. But the other part of it is if there is nothing there or there's not as much there as you thought, leave it at that. Don't create a monster just for the sake of having to, you know, but you've taken the journey to uncover something. And then you get there and, oh, it's okay, well, that's kind of boring or it's not what I expected or there's actually nothing there. Don't then invent something just to fill that gap because you feel like the journey wasn't worth it. The journey was obviously worth it, regardless of what the end result is. Sometimes you learn more in the process of creating something or doing something or you know working towards something than you do when you've actually created it. That's what buyer's remorse is about. You know, when you buy something and you're like, ah, oh, this is amazing, and then you get home and you've got the item and you're like, actually, this is crap, why did I buy this? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 I guess it's probably not a great example, but I'm hoping you get the gist. Looks like a good month for you guys. Um, it looks like a quite a stable month in terms of finances. It looks like a month where you really get a handle on um, you know what it is that you want to achieve and what it is that you want to look for. Um, and like I said, work looks good. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a month for you to um, to to try and make anything too concrete if I'm honest, um, you know, this is gonna be quite a shifting month. It's gonna be quite bitty. Um, it will have elements of everything, but it won't necessarily have one thing that solidifies. You know, there'll, there'll be lots of little things going on. So let me know how it plays out for you. I wish you an abundance of love, like peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Have an amazing month, and I will see you very soon. Take care.